Lindsay's to just love everything, every single thing that comes out and then give it to me, but we still gotta get really real in this video. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, welcome. So today, as you can see, we are getting into Fenty Skin. I have actually been using it for an entire month. I first started using it on August 1st, so now it is time for me to give you guys my one month review. I really wanted to spend a good amount of time with these products, using them every single day, every single night, so I can not only tell you like, a first impression of like how it smells, how it feels, but also I wanted to include if it did or didn't transform my skin, how my skin has been feeling after consistent use, like really, really get into the actual details of everything. As y'all know, I always keep it honest and I am a little bit picky, so we're gonna get into all the details today. Before we jump in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you do like what you see, and also you're gonna wanna make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you never miss a new upload again. All right, let's go ahead and get into some Fenty skin. Okay, so where do we start? Let's just start August 1st. That is the first day that I ever used these products. It was in the night. I actually did a little mini first impressions on Instagram and I did save it to my skincare highlight on Instagram if you wanted to revisit them. First off the bat, I absolutely love the packaging. I love the pastel-y kind of muted purple look. It is so nice, so spa-like. I also love the way that the packaging opens and closes. It's all in like one piece, so you don't have like a cap that you gotta screw off. You literally just twist it to open and twist it back to close, which I just love. Like you'll never have to worry about the cap ripping off or falling off somewhere and you not being able to find it. Like I just, I don't know, I love the cohesiveness of the packaging. So not only is the packaging really sleek and nice and just easy to open and close, but it's also very, very eco-friendly. So for example, this moisturizer here comes in a refillable tube thingy. So when your moisturizer is finished, all you have to do is actually purchase the insert and then you keep that little outside piece stick in your new insert and then you have a brand new moisturizer. This is a lot more eco-friendly than having to purchase a brand new bottle every single time. The toner and the cleanser packaging are also made with eco-friendly packaging. Like you can check it out on their website, the plastics were made from recyclable materials. So I really like that they kind of put all of that effort into making sure that it's not only good for consumers and our skin, but also good for the environment that always gets a A plus in my books. I also noticed that the pricing was pretty mid-range, so it wasn't like on the cheaper side, it wasn't on the super like Tasha expensive side, it was kind of in that mid-range which I also really kind of enjoyed. As much as I love Tasha, it does hurt every single time I gotta purchase their products. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still gonna buy Tasha no matter how bad it hurts because their skincare is just the absolute best for my skin so good but we'll leave that for maybe another video comment below if that's something that you want to see but yeah i was pretty happy with the price range i'm glad that just because it's a brand by rihanna that they didn't think like okay let's hike up the prices because people are gonna buy it no matter what like i kind of appreciated that they still kept it mid-range pretty affordable for the average joe to purchase it if they'd like all right so let's actually move on in to each product specifically. I want to first start off by the moisturizer because I'm going to tell y'all straight up right now, I did not use it and let me tell you why. So the moisturizer is called the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer and it does have a broad spectrum SPF of 30. Now that's kind of where my issue was. I personally only like to use mineral sunscreens and unfortunately this moisturizer is actually filled with a chemical sunscreen. I'm gonna leave the whole sunscreen talk for maybe a whole nother video. Comment below if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing. But basically, the reason why I prefer mineral sunscreens over chemicals is that chemical sunscreens actually have a lot of like hormone disruptors and all these kind of things that new research has been showing that is actually bad. So it's almost like you're putting it on to protect yourself from the sun, but then at the same time, it's actually damaging your body. So I kind of prefer to stay away from chemical sunscreens on the whole, and I like to use mineral sunscreens. So when I saw that this did have sunscreen in it, I was like, please be mineral, please be mineral. But no, it, it's not. It's chemical sunscreen the one thing about chemical sunscreens is that they definitely rub into the skin a lot easier than mineral sunscreens but I know for a fact it's not impossible to create mineral sunscreens that don't leave a white cast because I have my favorites for sure that I use consistently so I kind of wish that they either did the moisturizer without SPF and just created their own SPF separately so that people who like mineral sunscreen like me could have the choice 
or that they just created it with a mineral sunscreen instead and figured out a way to make sure that it didn't have a white cast. I was a little bit disappointed to find that it was chemical. So yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to use it. I couldn't. So what I have done is applied it to my hand. So yes, I can confirm 100% that there is zero white cast. So even for people with dark skin, this is a moisturizer with SPF in it that you can wear and not have to worry about any crazy looking white cast. The consistency of the moisturizer also feels really nice and it's not super thick either. So I feel like this would work for majority of skin type. They've also said that they formulated it specifically to wear under makeup. Now with Fenty being Fenty, I would personally trust that. I cannot tell you though that that's 100% true because I haven't really tested it myself. I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I said goodbye to chemical sunscreens a long time ago and I just, I couldn't bring it back into my life. So I have not been able to test that part. Oh, and the last thing about the moisturizer, I have to say that it is the most fragrant out of the three just based off of how much I'm smelling. I don't really know how to tell exactly how much fragrance is in a product other than how strong it really smells, and the moisturizer definitely smells the strongest. On a general note, is it a super strong smell? No, but it is stronger than the other two products that they did come out with. I wanna say if I had to describe the smell, it's like, it's like almost like a sweet berry kind of smell. It's a nice little fresh, clean smell. There's nothing wrong with it. I like the smell, but again, for people who have sensitive skin and they don't really like fragrance, or for people who just like to stay away from fragrance as much as possible, this moisturizer definitely has some in it and it's noticeable. Like you can definitely smell it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this cleanser. I'm actually gonna show it to you guys in action now. So first, in terms of the consistency, it is super, super creamy. But once you rub it into your hands, add a little bit of water and start rubbing it into your skin, it starts to turn nice and foamy. So it's kind of like a cream to foam cleanser and I love that about it actually because the cream kind of gives you that moisturizing vibe and then the foam is like what leaves you like nice and extra clean. The thing I did love about this cleanser is that it definitely does not strip my skin at all. Now in terms of removing makeup, for me personally, I gotta say, I never do my makeup removing in one step and that's it. I don't use the cleanser just by itself to remove makeup. I wouldn't recommend that. Usually the cleanser is the last step to me removing my makeup. I will say that this does feel very, very cleansing. Every single time that I have used this cleanser as the last step of removing my makeup, there is no makeup left. I've also rubbed it into my eyelashes and everything to help remove mascara and stuff. I didn't have any burning issues around my eyes or anything like that because sometimes my eyes can be a little bit sensitive, but I didn't have any of those issues. And most importantly, I also didn't have any breakouts, which is also very important. The second I use a product that my skin doesn't like, literally the next day I wake up with acne okay and I know it's always caused by a product because it's like a very specific type of acne you know the ones that are like underneath the skin they don't really have a white head or a black head on top but it's like a painful bump underneath the skin those are the type of bumps that I get so I didn't experience any of that throughout my entire experience with all of the Fenty skin products well the two that I did use all right so moving right along to the fat water toner I have to say that I love the name of this product so much. So the full name is actually the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. I really love how innovative this product is. It's a toner and serum in one, which I thought was really, really cool. My favorite part is that you don't have to apply it with a cotton pad. Yay! Also very good for the environment. So basically this toner serum is meant to kind of fix up your pores, refine them a little bit. It's supposed to help reduce the look of dark spots and help even your skin tone over time so that your skin just looks nice and even, balanced, healthy, and it's not supposed to strip the skin as well. So I have to say I am really happy with the toner serum as well. I don't think I noticed anything specific with my pores. I honestly can't say that this toner serum has shrunk my pores or anything like that, but what I will say is by using this every single day, every single night and day actually, in conjunction with a vitamin C serum, I have been noticing my dark spots have gone a little bit lighter over time. Now it's only been a month and usually for dark spots and just evening your skin tone in general, it takes a lot of time to kind of lighten gradually. But so far in this month, I've noticed that my dark spots are definitely, definitely fading. Do I think that it's only because of the fat water why my spots are going away? No, but do I think it's helping in the process? 
absolutely. So the fat water does have witch hazel in it. So at first, when I heard about that, I was kind of a little bit worried, like, okay, I gotta really see if this is gonna dry my skin out over time. Because I do have combination skin, I usually don't have any dryness issues in the T-zone, so along my forehead and then down towards my nose and in the middle of my face. Where I do have dry issues are like around my mouth and sometimes on my cheeks. This usually happens like around the winter time. That's just how it works for my combination skin. Um, so yeah, I was keeping an eye out, but the witch hazel actually did not bother my skin at all. With all of the other moisturizing ingredients that it does have in there, I feel like it kind of maybe offset the witch hazel a little bit. And honestly, my skin loves this stuff. And again, I love the fact that you don't have to apply it with a cotton pad. I can also tell you that with using the cleanser and the toner and then my other regular skincare items after, it all played really nicely under makeup. Like I literally had no issues at all with these products and I'm so, so happy about it. I have to say, I think even apart from the really cool name, I think the Fat Water is my favorite out of the three products. I just feel like my skin looks visibly happier and just more bright and more what's the word alive young rejuvenated these are the words that i think of when i look at my skin now and again do i think it's a toner on its own no but i think the toner was a really nice pre step to my vitamin c serums that i use i just think that it works really really well with vitamin c serum oh you know what's also important to know look at how much i have left after using this for a whole month, okay? This is gonna last me some time, which I'm really, really happy about. I didn't really skimp on it either. Like usually for my more expensive skincare items, I'm like, all right, we gotta do a half a pump to make it last a little bit longer to make me feel like I get my money's worth. But for this, I didn't really skimp on it and feel like I really needed to. And we still got a lot left. So I also like the fact that the packaging comes with enough product that's gonna last you a while because if this was one month's use, we got one, two, three, like about four more months of use left in here, which I love. So yeah, my overall opinion on the Fenty skin, I love it. I think they put a lot of thought through these products as usual, typical Fenty. Though I can't personally say how good the moisturizer is because I just, I'm not willing to compromise on the chemical sunscreen. I will say that I 10 out of 10 recommend the Fat Water and the Total Cleanser. I think they are so, so great. And I also think that they will be great for majority of skin types. So Fenty skin, unfortunately, is not available on Sephora just yet, but it will be soon there is a little spot on their website where you can put in your email address so you can be notified as soon as it's available at Sephora so you can keep up to date and add some Fenty skin to your upcoming Sephora orders so yeah guys that's basically it for this one month review if you have any additional questions for me go ahead and ask below I really hope you enjoyed this and found it useful if you did go ahead and give your girl a little thumbs up and I'll catch y'all in the next one bye